So what are you planning to do today then, I've Belinda? got some ideas, but I just want to see what I can pick first. Um, we picked a few of those carrots, didn't we, yesterday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're a bit strange. We'll they're show those later. Carrot nasties. <laughs> that's, the sal <laughs> that's the salsify. Look how everything's grown since we last showed this. But you've told me, Lee, you've, you've researched this salsify and apparently it's not ready till... Yeah, you've got to pick salsify uh, around about September, October. Right. So that's later. More carrots. It's a bit like asparagus, apparently. No, no, no. They call it the oyster of vegetables. I hope not. I don't like fish. Don't like oysters. I, I like no, fish. No, they, they, like I think oysters. they're just making the comparison of how delicate the flavour is rather than they taste like oysters. Look, I don't think they do. Look at this beautiful radicchio. I know. This is the radicchio garden. <laughs> so, again, that's not quite ready. I think the radicchio has got to be a bit... Um, firmer and tighter in the middle before it's ready but you can certainly see that beautiful red colour with the white veins coming along very well and then up here just on my left Lee you can see actually I've picked quite a lot of those that's just what's left of the green beans so you've had all my beans then. but I've taken some of those already so here's just one bed of about four or five tomato beds that we've got but this is the one that Lee's weeded, so we'll show you this we'll one. We'll show you the good looking one. <laughs> and um, you can see there's already some tomatoes. I think we're later than some of our friends and yeah, neighbours. Yeah, some of our friends. Some of our friends and neighbours are boasting well, about these tomatoes. These tomatoes are going to be the size of pumpkins. Anyways, but we've got tomatoes here. And look, we've got the basil coming on very nicely. So ah, I'm yes. Going now, to... I planted basil with pot tomatoes because okay, apparently tomatoes. they're meant to be complimentary for aphids and stuff like that well so. it seems to have worked here but i'm going to need some basil i think today to use with those uh, courgettes so we're going to be picking courgettes courgettes and, uh, basil yeah and should we go and see how the potatoes i think the potatoes let's go to the potatoes <laughs> you must be very proud of this lot i'm very proud goodness because these gracious me look at that of leftover potato that are stuck in the ground <laughs> um and they've come on a treat but i've never i've never ever picked a potato in my life before. so everybody this is a first seriously neither of us have grown a potato in our entire I don't long know what lives to expect when it comes out the ground so off we go and i need these for the weekend league because we've got guests well, not who are eating so i'm dependent on these potatoes <laughs> oh can you see them i can see them oh oh i look at oh i say look, hey, look at that this. hang on there's loads. There's an abundance of... Right, I've well, got a box while here. While he's like, counting his potatoes... Um, let me start putting them in these boxes. <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe how many we got. <laughs> oh, there's Misty, everybody. Hello, everyone. Oh, she's gone. How many? Oh, Christ, oh, look, look at this. Look at those. Look at those. Genuinely, this is an absolute delight. This is really first. look at that huge. Look at the huge. You're not the first girl that said that to <laughs> me, Belinda. Right, we'll see you later, I think, Lee, on that note. I was just saying to Lee, from now on we grow our own potatoes. Yeah. I because think so. if we can if we can achieve this, literally with one potato sprouting potato that would have gone in the bin, and there's more, is there more on that plant, Lee, or is that something? Yeah, no, I think there is. I'm still trying to dig them out. It's incredible. And actually, these ones here are a British variety. Um, so, and I know this is a really good flowery potato. So I'm looking forward to cooking with those, actually. Hold on, there's another plant. So oh, I'm just going to go and get my wheelbarrow. All right, see you in a bit, everyone. That's a couple there. Yeah, but most of them have been pulled off because they're still in the ground. They're still in the ground. I'm going to oh, clear yeah. the, the actual plant out. Get my steak out. Steak out. Oh, look at that! Look. So I've got. Look at those. Um, look at those babies. I've got visitors this weekend. <laughs> look at that dinner. And they are going to get these lovely, look at these organic, homegrown potatoes. Look, look what's in there, look. That's my little, little nest of potatoes in there. <coughs> Those are all my potatoes. So... I wonder how many in weight we've got there. A I couple know, of I'm kilos. Them. It's only two of the plants. Right. 
Um, so I need, um, uh, I've got a couple of recipes in mind, Lee, actually. So as many that you can pick that you think are ready. Well, let me just see what you think you just have a look? Oh, look, there's one. Hold on. Have you got your clippers for that? Yeah, look, I don't need it. Yeah. Come on. That's actually, that's just about the right size. Yeah. So I'm looking so for... any that. more like that, Lee? Oh, there's one here. here. No, that's too small. Too small. There's definitely a couple on there. Yeah, yeah. And of course, the thing with these plants, I think, from what I've read on the internet... The more you pick the them. The more you pick, the more they grow. The more they grow. So actually, that being young like this is going to be quite a good thing because what oh, I've oh ah, I've found a good one, a bounteous fruit. Look at that! That's amazing. Okay, we'll see what else we can get now. No, look, there's another oh. one here. Gentle twist, a gentle twist of fate. You know, you can cook with the flowers as well. I've never done yeah. that, but there's an Italian recipe that you stuff the courgette flowers and then you. You deep fry them, and apparently they're lovely. I've never eaten them. I bet How many do you want? Just as many as you can get. 